Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can multiply rational numbers, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see here we have a mixed number, 4 and a quarter, and we want to multiply that by a decimal, 31 and 75 hundredths. Now, the easiest thing to do here is to change both of these into the same type of number. So we could change both of them into mixed numbers if we really wanted to, but I think the easier way to do it is to change them both into decimals. So if we want to change these both into decimals, we already have 31 and 75 hundredths as a decimal. One fourth we know is one of our benchmark fractions, and so we know one fourth is going to be 0.25. So really what we're looking at here is 4.25. That's what this equals, and now we simply multiply. Remember when we multiply decimals, we ignore the decimals until the very end. We're just going to start with our 5 and multiply all the way across, so 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 7 is 35, that's 37. 5 times 1 is 5, add that 3 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15, so that's my first row. Always get rid of these here. Second row, let's start with a zero because this two is one place over. So that is going to be 10. That's 14, that's 15. Obviously the biggest problem here that's going to be three is lining everything up and making sure you don't make a little tiny mistake. So let's just finish this out and we will see. So we've got four times five is going to be 20. I put two zeros there because that's my third row. Four times seven is going to be 28, that's 30, with that 2, that's another 0. 4 times 1 is 4, that's going to be 7, and now I've got a 12. Now this is the only tricky part, we add all of these up. 5 and 8 is 13, let's make that a 3, there we go. And so that is going to be 6, that's 9, that is 14. Alright, so that is going to be 13, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 digits behind the decimal in my factors. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4 digits behind my decimal in my answer, in my product here. So another way that we could look at that, if we really wanted to, is we said we could change them both into our mixed numbers. So we've got 4 and a quarter. Thankfully, we know that that's 75 hundredths. That makes three quarters. So we could multiply 31 and three quarters. Well, that's not going to really help us until we make them both improper fractions. So to make this an improper fraction, we multiply the whole number by the denominator. So that's going to be 16. Add that one, that's 17 fourths. And then we need to multiply 31 times 4. That is going to be 124. Add that 3 is 127. So I can multiply this straight across if I really want to, right? So now I've got 4 times 4 is 16. Not sure what 127 times 17 is. Let's figure that out real quick. It's going to be 49. That is 7 times 2 is 14. Add that 4 is 18. 7, and that's 8, so second row is simply a 127. That's 9, that's 15, that's 11, there we go, 2159. So, that is 2159 over 16, not very helpful. You're probably not going to see an answer like that. If you wanted to make that a mixed number, now what we have to do, you see how all this extra work is here once we get it into an improper fraction. Now we've got to divide 2116, 2159 by 16. Now I'm going to cheat and I'm going to say that it's going to go in 134 times. And let's see what 134 times 16 is. That's 2144. So if I subtract, I've got 15. So that's very close. So I'm going to end up with 134 and 15 sixteenths, which is my same answer over here. And that is how you multiply rational numbers.